to star delta conversions or star delta transformations for basic electrical uh, circuit. Now over here, the first thing is important is you should be able to find out that is what is the value of, uh, that is how you define equivalent resistance. Now over here, suppose I say this is 20 ohm, this is 5 ohm, this is 15 ohm, this is A and B, and someone asks what is the equivalent resistance to this. You know that is equivalent resistance in series is you do 5 plus 15 that is 20 ohm. That is fine, that is through derivation. That is first is you have to understand what is the basic essence of defining that is how equivalent resistance when defined. What do you say R is equal to R1 plus R2? That is a formula for that is when they are in series. Equivalent resistance, be it series or be it parallel, equivalent resistance is that single resistance which draws the same current as being drawn by the combination of resistors from the same battery. That is, equivalent resistance is, if instead of these two, I remove these two, and between the points A and B, if I fix a resistance of 20 ohm, that is still from the battery, from the same battery, I'm sorry, this is 20 volt, from the same battery, this will draw the same current. That is 20 by 20, 1 ampere, be it over here, be it over here. And you can refer to the derivations what we have done in your CBSC or your school, or let's say the earlier lectures, you can get into that, right? But even our simple circuits, they are not simple always, they are so simple that is, you have to, you can use only series and parallel combinations. Let me take a case where All the time, the resistances, they are not just in series or parallel combination only, they are there. Even in simple uh, circuits, they could be like something like this, a Wheatstone bridge. And this is a balanced Wheatstone bridge, T by Q is equal to R by S. This resistance by this resistance comes out to be this resistance by this resistance value. I can have, let's say, 30 ohm, let me change it, and this I make it at 60 ohm. So this is still a balanced Wheatstone bridge, 10 by 20, 1 by 2, 30 by 60, 1 by 2. So if this by this is equal to this by this, you have done it. That is at that moment, this point, let's say I call it as X and Y, they are the equipotential points. And if the potential of this, electric potential of this and potential electric potential of this, that is same. There will not be any current flowing in this wire, you can remove it. It is a balanced piston bridge, then you know this and this they are in series, this and this they are in series, then they are parallel and you can solve it. But now, if it is not so simple, I say this is 10 ohm and this is suppose 15 ohm. Now what you do is, if you get into KCL, Kirchhoff current line, Kirchhoff voltage law, from here you start taking a current I, then I1, I minus I1 and all those things, you will make a good many equations and this will take good much time. So how to solve it? So there are various ways. One of the ways is star delta conversions, right? Using that you can get the answer. Now what is this star delta conversion? Let me come to that. This is delta star, or is emanating star. This is delta. You are well versed in your differentiation also. I call it as junctions, I cannot change it, A, B and over C, these are resistances, R1, R2, R3, this is R4, R5 and R6, these are resistances, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, this is delta, this is a part of a bigger circuitry, there are number of more resistance and capacitance what we have is I'm just looking at this delta which is a part of a bigger circuit. So what I can do is this is delta this is star I can remove this delta and fix a star over here or between junction a b and c I can remove 
the star and replace by delta and the circuit will not come to know the changes that is what I have done. The resistances that is how I have changed. It will not have any effect on the final that is the current which is coming to the battery. So, if I intend to go from delta to star, delta to star, let us say conversion from delta to star, it means that is value of delta resistances that is known, R1, R2, R3 is known and we are interested in finding the value of R4, R5 and R6. We intend to find the values of R4, R5 and R6. Delta to star, delta values they are known, R1, R2, R3 is known, we intend to find R4, R5 and R6. If we are going from star to delta, then star values they are known, R4, R5, R6 they are known and R1, R2, R3 we wish to find out, right. So, the conversion could be star to delta or delta to star. This right, I write it over here, delta to star, star to delta. For convenience purpose, let us say if this is going to be replaced by this, I mark it red. So, this is going to be R4, this is going to be R5, this is going to be R6. I hope this is visible. So, delta to star, delta to star, suppose I have to find the value of R5. That is, I am going to replace this delta, white color chalks, white color resistances with this pink or purple color resistances. I intend to find the value of R5, R1, R2, R3 values they are known. So, R5 value is multiply the two sides, two resistances R1, R3 divide by the sum R1 plus R2 plus R3 done. Similarly, if R4 has to be found out that is we are going from delta to star. Delta values they are known, star values R4, R5, R6 they have to be found out. R4 is R1, R2 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 values. Similarly, if you wish to find out the value of R6 resistor, R6 is going to be R2 into R3 over R1 plus R2 plus R3. Right? Now, let us go from star to delta. We are not bothered much about the derivations, how they have been derived. We shall be applying getting an answer. So, over here, I intend to find the values of R1, R2 and R3. From here to here, I am going it. Star to delta, star values R4, R5, R6, they are known. R1, R2, R3, they have to find Let's say R1, I have to find out. So, over here, what to do is, go in the circle, that is, I write, then I explain. That is, multiply this by this, sorry, this into this, plus this into this, plus this into this. Circle complete. You reach over here. What is the resistance opposite to R1? R1 to opposite is R6, right, in denominator R6. Similarly, if R2 value has to be found out, R2 value has to be found out, the numerator remains same. R4, R6, plus R6, R5, plus R5, R4, divide by opposite to R2 is R5. So, R5 comes. But thing to be noted is, once you are going from delta to star, the denominator remains same, R1 plus R2 plus R3. When star to delta, numerator is same. Once again, once you are going from delta to star, R5 value is to found out, multiply the two sides, two registers, divide by the sum of the registers. Once you are going from star to delta, complete the circle, multiplication and addition, R4, R6 plus R6, R5 plus R5, R4, divide by the opposite resistor. R1, opposite to R1 is R6, opposite to R2 is R5, opposite to R3 is R4 and this way you can do it, right. Now, let us say how we apply it. If I have to apply it over here, that is how I can apply it. So, how many deltas I see? I see this one delta, the second is this delta. So, how, how many stars I can make? I can make only one star. Either I convert this delta into star or this delta into star. I will not have two stars because this side is a common side. As soon as I replace this by a star, this will go off. I say R1 
R2, R3. The value of R1 will be, you know, that is R1 multiply the two sides. We are going from delta to star. We are going. We are going from delta to star. So value of R1 is 15 into 10 over the sum. 15 plus 10 plus 20. The value of R2 is R2 is 15 into 20 over 15 plus 10 plus 20. R3 is 10 into 20 multiply the two sides registers divide by sum. Same thing 15 plus 10 plus 20. So R1, R2, R3 values they are known. Either you can have delta, you can have star. So I have converted this delta into star. Delta it has it should disappear now. It has been replaced. It has been replaced. It has been replaced. Now this becomes simple. This and this you see that is this is in series. This is in series. This and this is in parallel. Then this whole thing is in series with this and you can get the answer. That is this and this series. This is this series. This and this they are in parallel. Then this whole thing is in series with this R2 and you can do the calculation you can get the answer. You can use not only for registers this can also be used for capacitors also, inductors also rather for impedance also it can be used right. But over here let's say this is DC circuits we are doing it so we are using it for the registers star delta conversions and using this you can solve the questions. Thank you.